Okay, this is a hidden system again. Um, if you want to actually come and visit the base, you'll have to contact me and I'll try and get you an appointment with the actual builder. You can't get here using the glyphs. They don't work on the hidden systems. This is Wireless Dreamer's base. It's a second Graf Zeppelin, but I've never seen the first one. So we'll land, we'll have a look at this one. It is huge. Don't bash into it. <laughs> get down I think it's still light so we might be able to have a quick look round let's have a quick look round while it's still light which is a bit odd for me let's um get out okay I'm in first um looks like the base is built out of freighter parts <laughs> uh so I don't know if he deliberately smashed his freighter on the floor and then carried on building it so we'll look got the stairs I think there's a lot in the base. He's got his usual upside down. Oh crap! Bloody thing! Can't steer. So he's got a save point there. If you can see it, and he's got the upside down teleporter. I don't know why it's so f bloody fricky. Let's go. If you call it, it just touch upside down. It's quite funny, really. Come out of that one. Another thing he uses quite a lot. That must be the teleport up to Mr. Zeppelin face. I think there's a lot in the base. I think it's just a quick... If he needs to expand it anywhere, I'd, I don't know why, but... Uh, as you can see, it's not here. The door out the other side. And back down onto the planet. So, I think the other end is also empty. As you can see, he's empty. I wish I could put freighter parts on the floor. That'd be great. Right, let's get out again. Here's the teleport. And there's the beastie. It's huge. Bloody huge it is. Right, we're going to go. Let's get up here. Probably. Okay, uh, looking around, it's <laughs> massive. We go right down it. <laughs> a race initiator. Does it do that normally? Wait, wait, hang on. Do that again. Oh, I don't know where that noise was. What's that? There's a little. It's just the posts. So you can see it's humongous in here. And then he's built another base inside it. So trying to get all the bits together here. Should we uh, we'll look both ends first? See the drawing rate going past. Right, we'll go down the other end. Quick look down this end. There's the teleport we came in. It's just a large very <laughs> very large space uh, can I turn my torch on bloody dark there you go so squashed why is there a platform up there should we, should we see if we can get up there <laughs> I don't know we don't need to we're just ah! so there's a platform there stuck out the side is there one on the other side maybe it's intentional there's one on the other side. Perhaps he's intentionally making it look like it's fixed into place. Uh, what's down here then? Uh, we got some sort of just bits and bobs. <laughs> make it look pretty. Make it look interesting. Make it look like it's functioning. It's a long drop if I fall off, mind. Uh, not really. Oh, um, trying to. What was that? Bubble cluster I just bumped into. Have my lights gone off again? Electromagnetic center. <laughs> what the hell's them things? They look. I have no idea. I don't use anything. So there's um some. 
holes. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing either. It's um, I, I don't know what to say. I, things going on here. I mean, there's animal feeders. Look like they're pretending to be do something. That one doesn't seem to be. Oh, it is on. Water with zooming through the bloody thing there as well. That's a good idea. Perhaps it's like a purifier. <laughs> Both sides. That's red. All red. Blue light mostly. I think it goes back to blue. What's in here? Well, at least we're one end of the inside. Let's see what we got on the left. Is. Hello. His worker. It's the gunman, isn't he? Is he the gunman? I think he's the gunman. Yeah, freighter version of the gunman. The uh, exosuit summoner thing. Exosuit? I mean, exocraft. God, I can't even. Fool. Large, cavernous, central piece. But what can you fill it with? It's so big. Apparently it was built to uh, scale, so... <laughs> Huge, in other words. Back on through, we have got the door. We should have come in as a teleport, yep. Yeah. And out here we have more runway. More runaway area. It goes for oh, for miles, the bloody thing. <laughs> okay, let's... Um, Carry on down the other end. Like I say, it's empty, but what could you put in it? It's that big. I can both fit all of my bases, all told. And I got at least 260. 260. 200, yeah, at least 260 bases. I could probably fit them all in here. <laughs> Not in this particular room, but in this space. Music, and here we have the steering compartment. <laughs> steering, as if you steer a zeppelin. I mean, they do steer, obviously, but it's not very six, not very efficient. What are we doing? He's got a steering wheel, and um, uh, why does he want to keep an eye on the stock market? <laughs> no idea what that is. It just makes it look pretty. Lights and more. Down the outside of the skin. Ooh, would I like to go down there? Should I even go down there? Uh, probably not. So that's that one. Come back out again. The fake system, holographic system. I mean, they're nice. It would be better if they represented the actual system it was in. That'd be great. I'm sure they could have done that. And whatever, if you had it on your freight, you could see what the system was like without even leaving. <laughs> have a look. So that's the door. That's the door we came in, because there's the... the go. Ooh, I just walked straight through the wall then. So now I think... <laughs> look in, inside, looking in. Now that makes sense. So there he is. Look at the size of the bloody thing. You can't imagine anything so... I mean, it must have taken hours. Because <laughs> he knows what he's doing. It must have taken hours. Me, it would have taken weeks. If ever. What are these? Wait, are they... Uh... I don't know, I've seen them somewhere and I can't recall them. It's got those pink things again. And there's the teleport. Now I know there's a hole on the top somewhere. I've just got to get to it. On top of the building a second. I'll probably fail to get through here. There's the door. I think that's the door. Looking outside. So, let's have a go. Look at the door. And here we go.
Yay, I made it. <laughs> Only two attempts. One I got completely lost on. So there's a door there. Outside of the Zeppelin. It's called night time, of course, but that's okay. We've practically finished. Let's get down the end here. You're coming close, mate. Look, watch where you're going. <laughs> Great, he's landing right there. Damn. Oh, there's a landing pad. Of course there's landing pads. Why would there not be a landing pad? Damn it. Oh, well, that's clever. Uh, we've got this bloody great fin. I think people are actually brave enough to fly these bloody things. <laughs> they got to be mental. That was lucky. That just told me where the bloody landing pads was. I didn't think there was any. I don't know why I scanned. It wasn't my fault. I didn't call it. Nav data required. So I just called me ship over instead. Oh, mind me, you don't push me off. Bloody hell, that was close. <laughs> but he's landed there, that's okay. It's, um, so you can tell how big it is then, because I can land a damn ship on the outside. Oh God, it's hard to jump up there. Quick look at the other end, while we march across the ceiling of this thing. I feel I, I um, if I had a step counter I'd be buggered. Come on. Go run. Run. Gotta run now. There's lights on, so the whole damn thing. <laughs> I don't think I can see anything from the front. There's a thing down there. We'll get the camera and have a quick look over the edge. So, oh, that's a um, back end of a teleport, isn't it? Um, portal. I don't know what that is, but that's okay. <laughs> I don't need to see. Shame. Let me get the... Uh, okay. Made it more light this side, so we can have a quick look. As it is dark, um, we got antenna dishes on the sides. It says, uh, warning, Zeppelin. I don't know if I can reach all the way to the other end here. No, bugger. Okay, so, okay, we're back to night time and we're back to here. So I just follow my ship and I think we've been everywhere. Um, like I say, it's a cavernous area but then what could you fit in it like I say I could probably fit all my bases in there <laughs> about 260 bases I've got and I could probably fit them all in I mean they're not very big bases obviously we're gonna uh, so we're gonna end there but we like this base and don't forget, it is hidden. You cannot type it in and, and fly there. You have to get an appointment. <laughs> and we'll see you later.